Israel Wilson Marasigan. At number four, Peter Denmark Torres. Wearing jersey number seven, John Paul Bugawan. Number ten, Wendell Concepcion Miguel. Number fifteen, Mark Jesus Espejo. And number eighteen, Gabriel EJ Casan. Libero, number thirteen, Manuel Sumangit. Head coach, Mr. Dexter Clamor. Presenting our Emus Adja Spikers. Team captain wear jersey number 22 is Mirozo Joner Polvorosa. Number 2, Joshua Alexis Villanueva. Wearing jersey number 6, Kim Malabunga. Number 13, Roniel Rosales. Number 14, Louis Ramirez. And number 24, Hero Austria. Libero, number 5, Rico Marius Marmeto. Her head coach is 12-time NCAA Indoor Volleyball Champion and the current Beach Volleyball Men's Champion Coach celebrating his birthday today. Happy birthday, Coach Sammy Akailar. On your screens, we have the starters for the e Signal HD Spikers. We got JP Bugawan, Mike Espejo, EJ Casania, Peter Torres, Wendell Miguel, Isai Marasigan, and Manuel Sumangid the third, or we call, we call him Zooms. And for the, the city of Imos, we got Roniel Rosales, Josh Villanueva, Luis Ramirez, Kimalabunga, Ish Polvorosa, Hiro Osria, and Kiko Sarmiento. Set one is underway. Back row attack from their captain, Isai Marasigan. Still very consistent on the floor, Isai Marasigan scores the first point for Signal HD. Again, they have a new setter in EJ Casania and looks like they've been gelling really well. They also have their second setter in Jewel Asia. A lot of favorite movements have already happened in the start of the year. And there's this one meme that has been brought up several times that everybody's saying and everybody's watching out to be the ultimate addition for the Emo squad. Uh -huh. I heard from a little bird oh. that Brian Bagunas will be oh, wow. flying back to the Philippines soon. And he has finally chosen a club team to play for. And that is the Emo's ITP oh, as a spider. Wow. So that's definitely a huge addition. And alam naman natin uh, when we talk about open spikers, it's always Brian Bagunas against Mark Espejo. Oh so, my goodness, yes! Ang tagal ko itong hinisay na mga ganit dito sa Pilipinas. So I'm sure the fans uh, will be looking forward to Brian here. That's right, and uh, those guys have been always away playing abroad, and now there will be a chance for them to be here playing in the local league here in the Spikers Serve Open Conference. So a lot of things to watch out for so guys stay tuned you know online or why not come here live at the Paco Arena and see the action for yourselves Ooh. a 3-0 lead easily cut down by Imos we got two serving three Rosales one on one against JP Bukawan again he had 62% efficiency on the field when we talk about offense so important ng Imos Na right. kahit pa paano, malimit na lang production ni JP Pugawan because we all know that uh, kahit na hindi siya masyadong makakagawa sa opensa, malaki yung contributions niya on the blocking side of things. That's right. And uh, as we mentioned earlier, JP Pugawan, uh, leading scorer in the last game, in three straight sets with 10 points, 10 spikes and 5 huge blocks. Let's see ilan kaya ang mabablock niya today. We got a spell for the jump serve. Woo! That was a wicked serve. I mean, that was a curve ball. Did you curve see that? <laughs> ball, super fast. We have to have a speedometer here. And I mean, uh, look at that. Last conference, he had some inconsistencies regarding his jump serve. Looks like he was able to polish that in the off season. Definitely a lot more time to prepare for all of these things. Well, if not most of these things, especially the Signal AC Spikers again. Uh, they fell short in the championship match in the last conference and now, you know, interviewing Mark, 
JP and Sumang, they're all saying that, you know, this time we're not gonna let things go. We're definitely gonna go for it, go get the gold this time. They're coming off a championship in the Champions League. Mm. So they do want another podium finish here in the Spikers turf. Ooh. Of course, JP Bugawan is also a thinking player, so he gets blocked once. He will definitely change the angle the next attempt. So if you're on the side of Emo's um, ITP, you have to try to establish at least a double block. Because right now, Signal already has that five-point advantage. I mean, also look at that head on that jump. Having that much elevation, you can definitely see above and around your blockers here. And just like that, we are now at our first technical timeout. service. Nagawa na naman tayo kinakarga ni Mark. So, pag nakakamiss receive, tatlo talaga natin na Pag-miss receive, tatlohan. Kung dito, alam naman natin kung magsisingko or mag-open. So, tatlohan talaga. Oh, mag, paano ko ba makakala? Sabi niya, wala na, wala na. Kaya lang, wala na. Isang beses lang naman na-block lang naman na-block eh. Kasi di mo ba, medyo mababa. Pag-miss receive, tatlohan. Kaya lang, 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 kaya Watching the Spikers Turf Open Conference 2023 live on One Sports, One Sports Plus, and Smart Live Stream. Now, Zee and Neil, earlier you talked about the newest and biggest addition to Emo City Aja, and that is Brian Bagunas, who will be actually flying here from Taiwan um, on March. But Signal also has a young new investment in grad play Ares Gado from Bacolod. He is one of the youngest guys. He is only around 22 years old, and he is six. And actually, this was mentioned to me by the coaching staff that height is definitely something hard to find and that is why they decided to invest in him and he's been performing well so we can definitely see more time and action from him in today's game. Back to you, Daniel. Thank you, Ayana, for that uh, report. And uh, again, uh, this is definitely the platform for young and upcoming athletes to have that exposure. Uh -huh. In this kind of uh, high-level playing here. Yeah, that's definitely right. And you know, aside from the addition of Brian Bagunas, mm. isa sa mga nililook forward talaga natin is yung matututunan natin from yes. Taiwan system. Yes. So, uh, that's also an addition for Philippine Volleyball as well. Definitely a learning uh, platform here on the hard court. Spikers Turf 2023 Open Contents. Now, uh, Emos ITP is playing catch up here, three serving nine uh, with Josh Villanueva. With that left serve, Miguel on that open hit. Woo! Sarado ang bangko, alas sa isa ata. Friday na ata nil talaga nga. There will be a challenge Woo! on the side of Signal HD. A ball in or ball out challenge. It seemed like a uh, good block, uh -huh. but let's check out this replay. That spike came from uh, their uh, very own hero, Austria. Blocked by Isai. Very well maintained the position there, but there's a challenge. Let's see what our camera spot here. Here we go. That was definitely inside. Definitely that will inside. remain with uh, the Signal HD spikers. Again, uh, we are so lucky and grateful to have these pieces of equipment who's catching yeah. up, leveling up as well as we level up our games here in the Spider Surf Conference. And we know that yung mga successful challenge or yes. unsuccessful challenges can really change the flow of momentum Correct. for either team. Especially in the crucial stages of every single set. Back row there, denied ish goes once again. Back row, William Reva, an easy hit. Torres, yes! A running attack coming uh, from Signal HD Spikers again. Uh, pulling away, we got 11 to 3 here on the first set. Once again, let's watch that replay. And uh, 
no connection issues whatsoever yes. between DJ Casanya and his setters. Pero babalasan na ngayon si Coach Samia Kailar, John Rivera along with Taneo para lang pamatay ng sunog because this is already an 8-point lead for the guys in white. Coach Samia Kailar trying to find that perfect mix that's uh, gonna switch things on uh, for the Emos ITP squad. We got JP Bugawan on the service line. Perfect pass. Goes to the middle. And yes! Rosales with that successful quick hit. Great gamble on the side of Kaneo as well. That's one of the most difficult sets to make coming off the bench. Malamig pa yung mga kamay mo. Then you set up a big quick attack. Rosales with the serve. Perfect pass from Sumangid. Again, Peter Torres. His money shot, that running hit. Two for two. And that's yeah, the first set about uh, yung running attack ni Peter Torres. Yung approach niya is always the same. So it's very difficult to actually read kung short ba or long yung running. I was just gonna say, ang layo ng pinanggalingan niya. You can not tell talaga from uh, the approach alone kung a quick yeah. bend, back quick. <laughs> Running short, running long. So, again, a lot of good deception going on already for our signal early on in this match. And he's also an explosive um, attacker when you look at the approach. Overreaching violation though called on Torres. Point goes to Imus. Perfect pass. Once again, nobody to defend that running attack from Peter Torres. 100% efficiency so far on that running attack. 3-4-3 three three no on the field really. for Peter Torres and EJ Casanya. I mean, if it's so effective, might as well tayuan na ata ng blockers ng Imus tong si Torres. Miguel with that serve. Taneo. Ramirez! Napakanipis <laughs> with that attack. What an angle from uh, Louis Ramirez, former HD spiker, now a champion, not just in, in the indoor volleyball, but also in beach volleyball. And then, from our standpoint, pa, from our perspective, you can see the guys. Crazy angle. I just gotta say, you have to watch the games live here in Taho Arena. And we do have a good-sized crowd here yes. on a Friday. Friday night, and the plans are to watch the Spiker Surf Open Conference. Why uh, not? This has been the difference. The signal has been attacking at 78%. Da, 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 Again. 4 for 4 for Peter Torres, and Emos has only gotten 2 out of the 10 attempts, so that's 20% uh, for the Ajax Spikers. Let's watch that once again. Again, yun nga, ito, this time, napaka long naman ng running ni Peter Torres, who's going for the jump serve. Ish goes to Ramirez. Easy over there. Mike Espejo. Reisman calls that in. He can do it too. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Espejo. And with that a cross court shot, he must ITP calls for it. I'm out. Kaya yan, di ba? Tapos para, para sila maggalaw, yung gitna natin, gumanito yung gitna, magbibay, para sa, sa kanya isa lang. Hindi yan ba? Okay, tapos tatlo spike yan natin, di ba? Oh, so, pwede naman pag ganito dito, pwede mag-take ng quattro, apply din sa likod. Okay, relax guys, relax. Masyado tayong ano eh, masyado tayong uh, gigil, relax lang. A few reminders there coming from Coach Sami Akailar. Again, wala pa rin sagot itong Imos ITP sa mga atake ng Signal HC Spikers. And again, uh, lumalamang na, lumulobo na yung lamang ng Signal HC Spikers. He got 15 to 6. Peter Torres, who's 4 for 4 in that running. Jump serving there, almost an ace free ball. Kasanya with that, oh, J.D. Bogawa with a back Set. Ish goes for the back row. Yes. 
Austria getting that kill. Flying from the back row. But if there's something na kailangan ilagay sa top priority ng Emos ITP, it's really their blocking because uh, we've seen yes. a lot of open blocks, a lot of loose gaps every time signal goes up for an attack. And speaking of uh, back row hits, there will be a net violation called oh. on an Aja Spiker, Louis Ramirez. Okay, well, we got 16 to 7, and that means it's our second technical timeout. We'll be back. Once again, it's a sizable crowd here for Friday night. Spiker Surf 2023 Open Conference live here at the Paco Events and Sports Center in Manila. We got our president, Eliza Valdez, City Side by Side, Mozi Ravena, and uh, Miss Eleanor. Present the present on a Friday night. Madam President. <laughs> Ooh. You say Marasiga, I think he has been... Uh, Close to like 80-90% yeah. efficiency on his attacks this time. Coming from the right side, uh, off the block this time. You can also credit half that point to EJ Casanya, pulling all the blockers. Yes, he yes. With that reverse set, papunta kay Marasigan. But again, I guess if you got three spikers in front for signal, lahat ng spikers pwede mong bato ng bola, <laughs> even in the back row pa. That's correct. So parang lahat ng lima other than the setter could potentially hit for the AC Spiker, so a lot of options, a lot of variations that we're seeing tonight. Jump serve there from Ramirez. Easy up. Palvorosa. Austria. Out of system set. Espejo just pushes it over. Villanueva was there. Austria once again. Sumanggit. Medyo nalito on that block to make. <laughs> From, I mean, from that receive, medyo itong chumet si Block. Sometimes mas gusto pa ng mga libero na hindi ito matama. So, they want a clear view on the hit of their opponent. But good check ball there from Hero Austria. He's been carrying the offensive load for Imos ITP for the past few sequences. Espejo! What a kill! Wow! Sandali, kinikilabura mo nga yun. Ako din na hit. Wow! An emphatic back quick play from Mark Espejo. Again, you have three spikers in front and they, they had so many plays in their pocket, Neil. Differential pa pa yun. Nakala ko quick attack. Parang ano pala. Differential na konti. Could have might as well be a quick attack. Sa sobrang bilis din bumagsak ng bola. But of course, Austria. Off the combination play. Yes. That point back. Masagot din. Hero Austria, nobody up there to block that spike. Combination attack in that one. Perfect pass there. Kasanya goes to Miguel. Turn back. Mugawa, an easy pit. A little scramble on the side of Akimus. Once again, Austria with that sassy stare down. And it has not me bang siya. Yeah. Back-to-back points, one from the combination play, one from the broken play. So kahit saan siya mapunta sa court, you can definitely count on Hero Austria to score for the Aja Spikers. One by one, cutting the lead, but doesn't help if you got JT Bugawan in front. That is really the strongest front line for Signal HD. Every time, nasa harap si Bugawan, Espejo, 
and the Maratigan. So, yun yung rotation na kailangan mapaikot ng Imos ITP. Ugawan for the serve. Tough serve there, but perfect pass once again. Austria, good intention though. A little short on that tip. He's going for that uh, spot in the corner behind uh, Marasigan. It was a smart move to yes. make. Sobrang bakante nung corner pocket na yon beside the blockers. Pero nagkulang lang ng konting tulak. Bugawan once again for that serve. Ish goes for back row. And of course, Ramirez getting a touch there on the side of uh, Signal HD Spikers. Point goes to Imus ITP. Right now, I'm really looking for the production of the middle blockers of Imus ITP because they do have strong middle blockers. Yeah. They Kim Malabunga. Yeah. Pero, yun nga, nagkaka problema sila when it comes to reception. So, they have to be steady on the floor first. Alright, in that last sequence, the Signal HD Spikers are saying... Uh, there might be no touch at all. We got a challenge coming your way. What do you think, Neil? Anong, uh, usually, ang block touch in, well, in my previous yeah. experience, kahit tumama sa net, there's a percentage uh -huh. of the ball that would touch the blockers and it just like that. It hit the head the <laughs> Wendell Miguel. Sobrang taas ng block niya. That's why also the tra 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 trajectory of the ball went uh, that high. We got Rosales on the service line. The check there. Ooh. But nobody to follow through. A little bit frustration on the side of Ish. Trying to check the attacks from uh, coming from the signal Ishi Spikers. First point for Wendell Miguel. It was a good check ball from mm -hmm. yeah. team captain of Emos, but the sweeper wasn't ready mm -hmm. for the follow-up ball behind. Oh and that's what we've been looking for. There you go. Quick attack, Nikki Malabunga, and it was only possible because of that excellent reception from Hiro Austria. That was the first point of Kim Malabunga off that short running play. Right. And even if Isai was there perfectly on the spot where the ball landed, talagang, uh, the power na naig. Crossing violation for Peter Torres. So that will be a point for Imus. This time, uh, Imus IDP is getting checks now on uh, Peter Torres' running attacks. This time, uh, Signal HD calls a timeout. Nandit na yung basa kasi nandito naman si Peter. Kahit na nandito yung bola, tignan mo pa rin na advantage. Nandito si Ish. Wala ka ibang gagawa kundi papaluin mo lang. Hindi naman nakapayong si Ish bumalaki. Okay? So, pwede pa rin na running short, running short, tapos si. Pero, Mark, pwede ka mag-backro sa gitna. Running short, backro si Mark sa gitna, si Wendell, tapos si Ish ay may 8. Okay. Front line ka rin, pwede ka mag-drop. Ha? Oh, we're back here, first set. Imos is successful in their catch-up here early in their match. We got 14 serving to 21. Hero Austria on the service line who's already showed some sass and pizzazz earlier when he got back-to-back -back points here's his jump serve Kasanya goes to Miguel dug up again by Austria Ish goes to Ramirez but Espero was there Kasanya Miguel once again and it's a check ball everybody it's all smart for the signal AC men and we got a two-man sub here Jewel Asia and Alfred Valbuena will get their first crack of the game 
I mean, they already got a comfortable lead here in the first set. Might as well uh, make the other players warm and ready for whatever in uh, the next set to come. Miguel for the serve. Good pass there. Ish. Malabunga denied. Villanueva was there. Pelgorosa once again. Ramirez this time off the block. And saying, uh, hold your horses. We are not done yet here in set number one. I mean, so far, simple lang din yung nagagawang plays na effective. Napupursyento para sa Imus Neal. Right now, for Imus, dahil nga medyo erratic pa yung first pass mm, nila. Yung right. mga attackers will really have to adjust dun sa mga sets na may babato ni Ispul Borosa. But that service error will cost them a point. And Signal is just two points away from backing our first frame. Oh, and uh, time out. Called by Coach Sami Akailar for Imus. Let's listen in. Sikim to, di ba? Kasi Louis. Okay. Sikim, magpabaktig lang. Okay. Nandito yung maliit. Si Louis, papunta yung maliit. Tapos, ito, presento ka. Okay? Yes. So, may pumapalo dito. Dapat isara pa. Sa likod. Uh, cover, cover, ha? Yes. Kasi ready din sa back row. Okay? Pasahan lang ng konti, ha? Yes. Tiwala sa sarili. Those little reminders coming from Coach Sammy. Little adjustments that could uh, change the tides here for Imus ITP. Still playing catch up here in set number one. We got 23 serving, 15 in favor of Sigma Ishi Spikers. We got Peter Torres on the service line. Perfect pass there, Ish. Josh Villanueva serving some uh, power there. He was looking right, but he hit that down the line. That's the first point also for the newest addition for the Emos Aja Spikers, Josh Villanueva. We got a substitution here, Neil. We got Castella subbing in for Rosales. One of the taller uh, gentlemen here for the Emos ITP as well. Malabunga with that serve, Miguel. Perfect pass there, JP Bogawan. Again, uh, just too successful, too efficient in that middle spot. It's <laughs> too fast for the defenders to actually react. And then I see Castell, but he still wasn't able to get a touch on the quick attack of JP Bogawan because he is a high flyer. I mean, from that slow mo also, Jewel Asia was just like standing steadily giving that quick attack. Oh, a good hustle though on the side of uh, Imus ITP, but someone touched the net that ends our first hit set here in our main event between Signal HD Spikers and Imus ITP. Again, uh, JP Bogawan is a force to reckon here. The Spikers to the Open Conference. We'll be back. <laughs> 